Hey guys, Thunderbow here. Today I'm bringing you a Pocket Edition seed review, and this seed was sent in by one of my Twitter followers, uh, DanielPonk80, so uh, you guys can go and follow him uh, for sending in the seed review. Um, and this week's seed is 1404985841, and he said that this seed has a village near spawn, and right next to it is an ice spike biome. So, I'm going to go ahead and generate the world. Alright, so this is where you guys spawn. And I'm just going to mark spawn real fast. Uh, just in case there's anything underneath it. Uh, I don't think he ever specified if there was uh, stuff underneath spawn. But just in case there is, uh, we will mark spawn. So, when you first uh, load up this world, you will be facing... Um, I actually have no idea what direction that is. Uh, you will be facing west. So if you travel west and then you go a little bit uh, towards this way, you will have a village here. And this village does have a blacksmith. It's a decently sized village. So, um, you know, you have a decent selection of houses to choose from uh, when you first start out. I'm just going to fill in that uh, uh, lava pit right there because, you know, uh, the lava reach bug kind of burns down villages so inside the uh, blacksmith shop we do have our chest and I'll break it open and there is six uh, iron ingots and emeralds and two saplings so you can definitely use those um, iron ingots for crafting maybe like a sword and some boots or a sword and a pickaxe you know just so you have some uh, tools to start out with uh, you can choose to live here if you want or not but um, nonetheless once you leave the village, uh, if you head off in this direction towards the um, towards this taiga biome, there is a uh, ice spike biome just uh, over the uh, just over the hills near this uh, taiga biome. Uh, the world is taking a little while to load in. I do apologize for that. So we have the ice spike biome. For some reason, the world really is lagging a lot. Uh, I'll go ahead and actually turn down some of my graphics just to make this a little easier. Uh, turn down fancy graphics. There we go. So, you know, we came over from this direction. That's where the village is. You can see this house is faintly in the distance. And over here is our uh, ice spike biome. Uh, it's not too big, but, you know, if you guys like looking at the uh, ice spikes, then uh, here it is. We have some decently sized... Uh, ice spires so uh, definitely uh, useful for maybe making an igloo or whatnot whatever you use ice spike biomes for but uh, ice spike bi uh, biomes are actually very rare so if you guys want to say that you found one then we'll use your ice spike biome and then of course you have the village not too far away so I'm actually gonna fly back towards spawn and see if there's anything underneath it Alright, so I went back to spawn and I dug straight down and I didn't find anything. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fly back up and I'm going to do the uh, x-ray glitch. Maybe we'll see if there's a uh, stronghold or a dungeon nearby. So um, let's just set that up real quick. So you just break these three blocks, these three blocks, get a uh, TNT uh, and a mine cart. So we'll put those three there. Put the minecart down, the TNT go across, and we'll ride, and go forward, and I do not see anything um, near the spawn area, so I will fly back over to the village, see if there's anything under there. Alright, so even when doing the tree glitch, um, there wasn't anything underneath spawn, or the uh, village, so... That's a little unfortunate, but at least you have a decent sized village with some good materials and an ice spike biome to uh, start off your pocket edition adventure. So, um, thank you for sending in this seed. Um, if you guys have a seed that you would like me to review in a future video, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe for more pocket edition content, and I'll see you guys next time.